You're listening to School Counseling Simplified, a podcast with easy-to-implement strategies for busy school counselors. Here's your host, Rachel Davis, from Bright Futures Counseling. Let's play a little game of Would You Rather, School Counselor Edition. Okay, would you rather spend your weekend planning a group or spend your afternoon sitting in irrelevant PD? Yikes. Or would you rather be the only counselor with no one to collaborate with or to spend hours searching online for engaging activities? All of these options are pretty bad, right? But unfortunately, they're all too real. But what if I told you I had a solution for you? What if I told you I had access to hundreds of school counseling lessons, groups, and activities? Counselor-specific trainings on the topics you need most, and a community of like-minded school counselors to support you. You would say, yes, please. Well, that is what Impact is all about. Impact is my monthly membership for school counselors, and it helps you with all of these things. You get access to hundreds of resources. That's unlimited free downloads. Log in and get what you need right away to every single resource that's in my store. We add new resources each and every month. We're adding a new middle school and elementary resource each month. And some of these are bonus impact exclusives, meaning that you can get resources just for members. You can request resources that you need and easily search so you can find exactly what you're looking for. And let's talk about the trainings, counselor specific trainings on the topics you need most. We do these each and every month as part of our Coffee with the Counselor series. Impact members get to join for absolutely free. You earn PD certificates and you get exclusive access to members only things like the Ultimate Small Group Experience and our Summer Summit Conference. And the community. Y'all, this is possibly my favorite part of Impact. I so look forward to jumping on these calls, to getting to know counselors who are similar to me and also completely different. It's so fun to hear from your experiences and your challenges, and everyone brings a unique perspective to the table. We have an exclusive online community, and we even have a cool app where you can chat with other counselors in these community circles. We have our monthly calls, like I mentioned, twice a month, and we share wins, troubleshoot tough cases, and just talk about what it's like to be a counselor because so often we are on our own island at our school sites. So if any of that sounds like it's for you, I would love to see you inside Impact. Go to stressfreeschoolcounseling.com impact to solve all of your counselor probs. And I have a special offer for my listeners. Use code POD at checkout to save 10% off your first month. Okay, let's go to today's episode. Hey there, thanks for listening to another episode of School Counseling Simplified. So in the last two episodes, I was talking about supporting teachers and admin and building rapport. So today I wanna talk about how we can do this with parents, specifically how to support parents with practical at-home SEL strategies. Now, I started thinking about this because I was looking at an old blog post I wrote back in 2020, and it was called Distance Learning Without Screen Time, Ideas for School Counselors. So I was taking a look at that and then what I noticed was these are all, you know, things you can do at home, not on campus, that are not screen, right? Like don't require a screen. And I was like, oh, this would be a cool idea for parents to do with their students. So not only is this something that counselors could do virtually, which you still can if you're still seeing students virtually, these are some really good um, distance learning ideas without additional screen time because we know everyone's getting too much screen time. (laughs) Um, But this is an SEL choice board providing students with like some alternative activities that they can do in the home setting. So I thought, how can we adapt this to support parents? And I know there's some parents who really want to help out in their child's social emotional well-being, but they need some ideas. So I thought this choice board would be so fun. I love to do a choice board because it gives students a little bit of ownership so they get to pick what they do, but we're still in control of like their choices that they get to pick from. So let me talk about some activities that you can put on this choice board. So you could design one of these to give to parents. I actually have a free one you can download. Um, I'll put the link in the show notes and then you could send it to parents for them to try at home with their students. But here's a few ideas. Do you ever wish someone would tell you what you're supposed to be doing, when you're supposed to be doing it, and how you're supposed to be doing it? Well, I've got you covered with school counseling lesson plans for the entire school year. And the best part, they're absolutely free. Go to bit.ly slash counseling lesson plans to download yours today. I hope you find these super helpful and you're going to have the best year yet. First, under the category of mindfulness, you could have them practice taking five deep belly breaths. Or you could do, you know, butterfly breaths or different, whatever you want to call your breaths. And you could even link to like a video about this if parents need a little guidance on how to practice deep breathing. 
Also for mindfulness, you could do a five senses check-in. Notice what each of your senses is experiencing. So have them talk with their child about what do you smell right now? What do you see right now? What do you feel right now? Things like that. And listen to a guided meditation or write your own. So you could, again, provide some links for some quality children's guided meditations, or you could encourage the parent to come up with their own guided meditation for them to do with their child. Now, under the category of gratitude, three things they could do is go on a gratitude scavenger hunt to find things around the house that you're grateful for. So they could encourage their child to go, you know, look around the house. Oh, I'm grateful for my favorite cereal. I'm grateful for my stuffed animal. I'm grateful for my TV or whatever. Uh, Write a letter to a friend you appreciate. So have the parents sit with their child and write a letter to a friend or family member that they appreciate. And lastly, set a timer and write down as many things as you can that you're grateful for. So I call this rampage of appreciation. I did not come up with that. I heard it on a podcast, but I think they heard it from Tony Robbins. I don't know. (laughs) But I like the sound of it. Rampage of appreciation. So just sit down as fast as you can write as many things that you're grateful for. And it could be something silly or small or something really big as well. Like it could be like your health and your family, but it could also be like um, your favorite chocolate or, you know, that the sun's shining. Then the next category is stress relief. So students could make a stress ball. Again, you could provide some instructions on how to do this. Um, they could visualize their favorite place in the world. So help them do you know, a guided visualization and try to describe it to you. And they could go for a long walk or a run. Regarding self-esteem, three things they can do at home with their parents are create a collage of positive affirmations. So use magazines and newspapers to cut out positive affirmations, or they could write their own. Write a silly song about yourself. So this is fun. You know, the parents can help them come up with a silly song about why they love themselves. And then the last one, paint a picture of you in 10 years. So have the child sit down with their parent. They're going to paint a picture of themselves in 10 years. You know, their goals, their hobbies, where they're living. Do they have pets? You know, did they go to college? Like, what's their job? Just fun stuff like that. They can get really specific and creative and then share that with their parents. And the last category is self-regulation. So parents could encourage their child to look in a mirror and to act out how they feel in each color zone. So, you know, in the red zone, you're angry. Show me what angry looks like. But again, you want to provide parents with a little guidance. You could have a handout of the different zones so they could, you know, correlate them with the emotions. Uh, Find items around your house to put into a coping strategies toolbox. I love this one. So using things you already have to serve as a coping strategies toolbox to use at home. And lastly, use a balloon to practice taking deep breaths. So that's a really good visual to show the inhale as it inflates and Um, just a nice way to talk about inhaling and exhaling deeply to practice taping, taking deep breaths. So these are some ideas for parents under the categories of mindfulness, gratitude, stress relief, self-esteem, and self-regulation. Now, as you were listening to this, you may be thinking like, Ooh, I could do that at school with my students too. And you definitely could. Many of these you can do at school in your office. Um, but I just thought this would be a fun thing to share with parents on what they can do at home. So if you do a newsletter, you could always mention this in the newsletter, like, Hey, this month, why don't you try one of these strategies with your child? Um, I thought that would be a cool idea to support students and just to further students, social, emotional well-being, even outside of the, the limited time that we have with them. Okay. I hope you found these practical at home SEL activities helpful to support parents and I'll talk to y'all next week. See ya. Thanks for listening to School Counseling Simplified. You can find the links from today's episode in the show notes. If you'd like to connect with Rachel, she's on Instagram and Teachers Pay Teachers at Bright Futures Counseling. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss any episodes of School Counseling Simplified. Talk to you next week.